Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Helpful Lockpicker here, and welcome back to this week's Lock Sport update. This is a fun video series that I like to try to run every single Saturday. My aim is always for around 4 p.m. Eastern time, but doing it mostly as a live stream, it can vary from time to time. This is a great place for anyone to share any updates that they have on their own channel. It also serves as a great place for me to share any updates I have on my own channel. So as always, if you have any updates at all that you would like to see shared next week, please feel free to drop those right in the comment section below. I'd really love to try to check them out and share. So what I'm going to do right now, we'll just bring up the chat and just see who's able to make it in right off the bat here. So how's it going? Lowell Forbes, Scott Pearson, BC Lockpicker. I hope everyone's doing well and I just think this will be a fun little video to do. So one thing I wanted to share this the beginning of this video is one of the commenters on my most recent video just sort of asked what the bidding looked like on the lock that I bumped. So I'm going to bring that lock up for you right here. And here is the little Schleg SC4 lock. Now the bidding on this key is actually pretty good. I forget what it was. I have it written down in the comment section, but it was a, you know, not terrible. So I just want to show you how easy bumping can be if you just get a little practice with it. I'm probably going to mess this up due to being on a live stream. But what I like to do is just pull it out one click. Very, very light pressure when you're turning. Give it a tap and we got it open right away. So one thing I'd like to share with everyone is going to be what the bidding actually is. So bear with me for just one second. I need to find my pinning tray. I thought I had it with me. All right, here we go. I like to use my wooden one just so that you can not have as much of a glare. But we can take this lock apart quickly and we can take a quick look at it. So we got the key that it came with and we can take a look at the pens. So I think that this is a pretty cool little lock because um, it bumps open pretty easily and I think that's pretty fun. And I always find bumping to be a very valuable tool when it comes to opening up locks because it can be really effective, especially if you're opening up something like a Schleg lock and a Yale lock because the keyway is not always super easy for someone first starting out. Schleg's a lot easier, but Yale can be pretty tough. So let's take this lock apart quickly just so we can see nothing like starting off a live stream with a little bit of a pick and gut. So I'm going to take our follower here, going to go right through. This core has the construction keying, which is pretty cool. And let's take out our pens. So we can do one, two, three, oh, that one fell off, three, four, five, six, and this one was five right here. Let me get my tweezers. And then we can put our core down and let's take out our pens. I'm not really worried about the springs in order just because they're all this stock, so I'm just going to dump those out at the end. But as you can see, a fully pinned up six pen Schleg with all standard pens, which is something very common to find in a commercial and even residential setting. I just want to say that that is, um, it's just interesting, you know, how quickly you can open up one of these locks with a little bit of practice. So this is just a little tribute to the power of bumping right now. And here is this lock right here. So now that we got that out of the way, I just want to say that that is what this lock looked like. It was a fun video to make. And yes, you can certainly bump open locks with not exactly flat bidding. It is a fun thing to do. And I recommend anyone try it out that is interested. And here's the bump key that we used. So let me pull up the chat right here and see what everyone has to say. And then we're going to move on. All right. Thank you, Rune International, for joining. 
Jerry, Daniel Smith, Starry Lock, and pretty cool to see everyone popping in. So now let me now I'm gonna get this lock just out of the way. I'm just gonna move it over. And we can um zoom back out. And the first thing I wanted to start off this week was what I did was last week I shared a good amount of channels in my master channel list and some people were able to update me on their channels so I would be able to add them. So I'm going to bring that Excel sheet up right here just so you can see one more time. So when you take a look at this Excel sheet here, this is going to be a master list of the channels that I have and if you don't see your name and you'd like to have it added to the list, please feel free to send me an email and I'd like to be able to add it. If you leave it in the comment section, I may not remember to get to it, but email, I'll definitely get to it. Because typically when I'm logged into my email, I'm logged into the document and I can just do it all at the same time. But one channel that I'd like to share is one that shared themselves last week. It's a small channel with about seven subscribers. And it's going to be Peace Weapon Picks. So this is going to be channel number 220. And I think that would be a cool channel just to share quickly so we can get a glimpse at one of the smaller channels out there. So I am going to bring up Peace, we Peace Weapon Picks channel for you in just a second here. We're going to get that up right now. I'm going to make it so we're going to be able to hear the audio from their channel. And now that we have Peace Weapon brought up, let's go over to that channel so we can look at it together. So we can see that Peace Weapon Picks has about seven subscribers. The About section, a small lock picking channel to feature some of my opens. Taking a quick look at the videos, this is what we have. Now, let's just click on the EL Superior pick quickly because that is the most recent video. And let's all hope my internet is going to agree with us today. Alright, I want to say congratulations to Peace Weapon Picks on 
getting open that really cool lock, that's a pretty fun thing to do. And I just want to say that that is a cool lock to have been able to share with everyone. So what I'm going to do now is let me bring back up the chat and see what everyone has to say. All right, so welcome back. Um, so what I'm thinking about doing is I may end up just picking a couple random channels to share if no one has anything in particular that they would like to see shared. So what I'm going to do is just give everyone a second and I will take a look at the live chat and I'll take a look and see. So let's see. Helpful lock picker, is your list accessible online? It's difficult for us older folks to see the stream. Um, my lock list, I, I guess I could maybe make it visible so people could see it, um, but I don't want to necessarily make it edible because, you know, there could be one bad apple out there that would just delete everything. But um, I could I could look into that and see if um, you think that that's something that would be uh, valuable, uh, Dusty Knuckles. Um, and let me um, see. So what, let's just do this. Let's bring up a random number generator. And this is what I did last time. And this is just a random number generator you can find on Google. It's something pretty basic. And what we're going to do is we're going to just pick a number and then we're going to see what channel that number corresponds to. So let's hit generate. And we got the number 143. So let's go back and see what channel 143 is going to be. And this will be pretty interesting to see. So I'm going to bring up the Excel sheet right now. We're going to now search for channel 143. So we're going to need to scroll up. And, oh, it's Lock Pickings Gal. So this is a channel that many of you may be familiar with. It's a pretty cool channel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up Lock Pickings Gal's channel for you so we can check out her most recent video. So I'm going to bring up the chat for you right now while I get her channel brought up so we can check it out together. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is bring up Lock Picking Scal's channel and just coming to think of it, one thing that she may appreciate me sharing is going to be the channel, the video on the very front of her channel because this is a video that talks about something that affected her personally. Um, sort of backstory on how she got into lock sport because she ended up having a dental infection and became septic in the hospital and I believe had um, like a stroke from a septic emboli or something like that. And this has been really helpful for her recovery. So what I'm going to do is let me bring that up for you so you can hear it directly from her and we can just take a quick look at that. But this is her channel, 810 subscribers, a good amount of videos. Let's see, the about section is right here. There's her contact information, Tammy McKnight13 at AOL.com if you ever feel the need to email. And let's take a quick peek at this Hi, video. Hi, this is Lock Picking Scal. I think my first video should be a little bit about my story. Um, two and a half years ago, I had two strokes. Um, I didn't realize I was having strokes. The only symptom that I had was my words were out of order whenever I would speak. Um, whenever I got to the hospital, um, they weren't even sure what was going on. About three hours later, my whole left side of my body was paralyzed. I don't remember much after that, um, until I had woken up from surgery. 
the first surgery I had was they, I had to go in the hospital and get my um, mitral valve replaced and three hours after that I they took me three back into surgery and removed all my teeth what had happened was I had a broken tooth and it almost killed me the infection went from my broken tooth um, to my mitral valve in my heart the heart doctor thought he could repair it but he said it was shredded underneath so they had to put in a pig valve this is very hard for me to talk about because I get emotional but um, that's part of those jokes um, I still have trouble with my speech but I am working on it. It's hard for me to talk and pick. The reason why I picked up lock picking was because I have aphasia, which is a symptom of the stroke, which is problems with memory. Um, and thinking of, you know, certain words whenever you're talking. Puzzles are supposed to help with that. And my nephews had got me started in metal puzzles. And I was looking for metal puzzles online. I went under hobbies and seen a lock picking set. It was a tiny set, but I didn't know. And whenever I got my set in, um, I used lock picking to. I was paralyzed on the left side, so, I mean, obviously, I have full mo movement back. It's a numbness I'm trying to work on. Alright, so that was a quick clip from Lockpicking Gal's channel, so you can know a little bit more about her. That is definitely a, a cool channel to check out. And I will bring up her channel one more time for you right now so you can check it out. So let me bring up her channel right now, which is going to be right here. Lock Pickings Gal. So if you'd like to check her out, please consider checking her out, subscribing. Every subscription makes a big difference. I just want to say thank you to everyone that is able to show your support to all of these great channels. So I'm not sure if anyone has anything else that they would like to share this week. This video is already running a little bit long, so I don't want to drag it out too, too far. But I want to say it is really inspirational to see how lockpicking has been able to help so many different people. It's helped lockpicking scale. Uh, we've also had a channel before which was pretty um, interesting, which I might be able to bring up for you. There was a blind um, lock picker who became blind at birth, I believe, is from retinal blastoma, which is one of the most common childhood eye cancers. And it was pretty interesting seeing him be able to get into a lot of different locks. Um, his channel is Sightless Senshi. Uh, but since, um, you know, the last year or two, he, I believe, has gotten into doing more of a gaming channel, which is pretty incredible all on its own when you really think about it. Um, so I'll bring up Sightless Senshi for you right now, just so you can see that. I think that that is a pretty cool thing. Um, so here is Sightless Senshi, should be in front of your screen right now. And I will take a look at his channel. So I think he's been mostly doing video games. He does, the last I saw, this was a long time ago, it seemed like Mortal Kombat type stuff, but it may have evolved to other games as we're seeing here. I am not exactly sure um, what he's been up to. Here he is at a firing range, that's pretty interesting. And um, so, yeah, so this is a pretty cool little channel. And I believe I may have done a video 
on him at one point, which we can check out together. Um, a long time ago on my channel, I was doing a series called, I believe, um, Featured Channel of the Week. I did try to migrate that into a Locksport Introduction channel at one point, but, you know, these things are sort of phased out over time. I don't get a lot of people that like to um, submit for it, so... But if we go to playlists and we scroll down to the bottom here, let's see. Featured channels of the week. And we go oh, here, Sightless and she. We can play a, a quick clip of this. So, so we can keep a, take a quick look at this together. This is the helpful lock picker here. This will be and interesting because it's on my is old part setup. Of my feature channel of the week video series. What I am doing is featuring some of these smaller channels and helping them get some exposure that they deserve. Many of the smaller channels do not pop up in the search engine, and sometimes you can type their channel name in verbatim, and other channels will start popping up and they will be hard to find. The channel I'm going to feature today is a really great channel and a really great guy. The name of the channel is Sightless Senshi. Sightless Senshi makes some really interesting videos and gives an interesting perspective into lock sport. He is one of the few that will film his videos so you can see his whole body and not just his hands. And he does a really good job at opening up the locks. For him, a little bit of the background information is he is sightless. He has been blind his whole life. He has a condition called LCA, which he was born with. I believe it's an inherited genetic disorder. And both he and his older sister both suffer from this. He comes from two-sided parents that have been really supportive his whole life and have told him that he can do anything that he can put his mind to. And he has really shown us. He graduated in college in 2013. He's published his first novel in 2015 called Blades of Carindale, which one of the reviewers wrote is a black metal feminist novel, which sounds pretty interesting. And he's been doing a lot. He started lockpicking back in the summer of 2017, and he got into it through his girlfriend. She recommended to him that it is something that he might find very interesting because it is a skill that she thought he would do well in and he's been showing us that he, anyone can really learn to pick a lock and do a great job. Up to this point we have seen Sightless Senshi pick a medical lock, numerous challenge locks, and even got a lock. What I'd like to do for you is have you stay tuned and check out the highlight reel that I've made for him and hopefully you like it and you will consider giving him a subscription and some continued support. Right now he's at 246 subscribers and his channel is growing every day and I thank you guys for checking out this highlight reel. You could time me and shock me. Yep. Like what are you going to shock me with? Well, I've got this nifty transcutaneous electric muscle stimulator thing right here. I have here. no idea why she has this, guys. Okay, so let me see if I get this right. You're suggesting I pick this lock, but if I don't get it open within the right amount of time, you're going to shock me. Exactly. It's open. <laughs> I've never picked a titanium that fast in my life. Ah! <laughs> 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 so, check out my new lockpick, guys. It's pretty cool. I mean, look at the hook on this thing. I mean, that is just gonna get up in there. Alright, um, now, as I recall, um, this lock says that it is, um, maybe you can find it on the box here, mm -hmm. um, says that it is, uh, uh what, what was that phrase exactly? Tough under, under fire. fire? Okay, cool. Um, okay, so... When I say pick like me, I don't mean do this. Just throwing that out there. Ooh, it's melting. This smells good, guys. Who's hungry? Mmm. 
mm, mm, mm. Master lock. Well, how's the lock look? Sufficiently torched. All right. Well, thank you, everybody. Don't forget to rock out with your lockout. Ooh, that is warm over that grill. I am Sailor Jupiter. I will defeat your Titan. Oh, crap. I wasn't playing with locks. Sorry, I didn't see you guys there. But then again, I don't see a whole lot. It's me, Sightless Senshi, and I am so happy to be making this video, everybody. Let's talk about that first part, the getting to know you thing. So, getting to know Sightless Senshi. Let's do that first, shall we? So, um, a, a few people have asked me where my username came from, Sightless Senshi. So, the first part I don't feel like I need to explain. If I do, um... Okay, well, I don't have sight. I am I am less sight than a sighted person. I am sightless. Uh All right, so I feel like that was a pretty good, good little clip of sightless Senshi, so you could get a little idea what his channel used to be. I don't believe it's very lockpicking focused currently, but that was a cool thing to share. But either way, guys, this is really all that I have for you this week. I don't really have anything else to share. I think it was fun finding a couple channels at random and being able to share them with you. I think Luck Pickings Gal and Sightless Senshi were a pretty good pick, but that's all I have for you this week. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, as always, feel free to leave them right in the comment section below. And if you would like to submit your channel to do my um, Locksport channel introduction series, which I have done in the past. All you need to do is make a short clip of your channel speaking about what it is, just so everyone can have a good idea of what your channel is all about, use royalty free music, and submit it to me if you'd ever like to do something like that. But this is all that I have for you this week. I just want to say thank you to everyone that continues to support my channel and supports all of the smaller channels out there. I just want to say if you enjoyed what you saw, you'd like to see more content like it, please consider subscribing to my channel or any of the other smaller channels out there. Every subscription makes such a big difference. And I just want to say thank you to everyone that continues to support this really great hobby. Hope everyone has a great weekend and stays safe, and I'll see you in the next video.